Hello and welcome our listeners who are watching and listening to our podcast, The Global Smart Cities. Today, our guest, Ali Pim Fatoum, the Principal Project Manager Technical, AWS IoT from Amazon Web Services. Hello, Mr. Ali. Hello. Um, Mr. Ali, um, how do you think AI positively uh, impact on the future of smart cities? Yeah, actually, uh, AI is an interesting topic. So if we uh, zoom out and look at what is the objective, what is the mission around smart cities, is mm. to improve the quality of life yeah. uh, for citizens, for residents, is to save the time, so make you uh, have your public transportation faster, uh, save energy, so use the same, uh, I would say, the, the same level of services while reducing the consumption of, uh, of uh, energy. And the AI is a great tool for optimizing all these, uh, uh, all these tools, all these services that we use uh, in our daily life. I'm an IoT guy, so I like to take this uh, example from an IoT perspective. Yeah. We have millions of sensors, you know, uh, measuring data. So we collect data about temperature, about uh, air quality, uh, about the uh, location of buses and everything. Yeah. And then once we collect this data, data uh, it becomes information when we try to you know uh, uh, structure this data and it can become insights thanks to uh, the AI uh, technology because then you can extract real insights from this data mm. and you can start for example understand how uh, the cities uh, behave right what yeah. is gonna happen why this uh, this is happening and you can then design much more efficiently the, the territory of the city uh, thanks to these uh, technologies. So uh, how do you think uh, the importance of uh, unifying the global efforts, uh, the government's uh, collaboration uh, to achieve smart city uh, visions? Actually, that's a, a, a very good um, uh, question. So I see two, um, I would say, scopes mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to smart cities, the, lo the global scope and the local uh, mm -hmm. scope. Uh, I think we, we all share globally the same challenges in terms of how we collect the data, how we structure the data, how we extract insights from the data. Mm -hmm. These challenges are global. And I think uh, unifying globally uh, the approach around, for example, global standards yeah. is something that can really help scale the, this approach of smart cities. I can give you a concrete example. I mm. uh, created the Garnet framework. This is a framework that uh, helps uh, cities mm -hmm. uh, build their smart city platform efficiently, scalable, scalable interoperable platform. And it's based on open source and open standards that are uh, globally adopted. Mm -hmm. And so every city in the world, regardless where they are, they can you know, launch this uh, framework and build their solutions. And then to go to the local scope, is then every city has, I would say, its own challenges. There are cities where it's about uh, monitoring the flood, it's cities where it's about more dry, and so uh, every city has its local challenge. But having this global approach in terms of tools, uh, how you uh, extract the data, how you extract the insights from the data is very important. And that will help actually all the local uh, yeah. projects to scale thanks to this global approach. And so having a unified, uh, I would say vision, but even more uh, approach, uh, tactical approach of uh, smart cities is, uh, is, in my opinion, very important. I've heard uh, terms, it's interesting terms, it's about smart citizens, which is the people who live in the smart cities. So uh, what is the impact of smart cities uh, on shaping uh, citizens? Actually, this is, uh, I would say, maybe early to really uh, yeah. answer this question <laughs> on that way, right? Uh, does uh, a smart city really make a citizen smarter? Yeah. I don't know. But what I can uh, say is actually on the other way. I think to achieve a smart city, citizens uh, are a real key component. Mm. And I think uh, there is this uh, 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 topic around training about education, about, you know, uh, making sure the, the cities is done with citizens, you know, and not something that yeah. you create on your side and you deliver to them. For me, for uh, having a smart city that is successful, 
citizens, they need to be on board. They need to understand the technology. They need to understand, of course, they don't need to all uh, have a, a PhD degree and know yeah. how to, you know, uh, design AI uh, models. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, I think they, they, it's key that they understand the, the technology and, and the reason uh, this technology is, uh, is, uh, is used. Amazing. Now we are in the forum of uh, global smart cities um, where all most of governments, leaders, companies and technology are here in Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, what you've seen in this forum, sessions, uh, attendance? So first, I'm uh, very excited to be, uh, to be here. Actually, I've been uh, uh, looking at uh, Saudi for a few years right now. Um, mm. Actually, I started to discuss with um, the uh, uh, city of Al Medina already four years ago, uh, uh, yeah. uh, working with them on their smart city strategy. Yeah. And um, I think I, I don't see uh, a place like uh, Saudi where this is going so fast. Yeah. And having these, um, I would say, all these brain minds together uh, in a place to discuss about how these technologies can transform uh, the, the cities of the future. I think this is uh, the place I want to be today, right? There is oh. no other place I want to be uh, yeah. today. And I'm, I'm very uh, um, glad to see all these companies, private companies, these governments, these policymakers uh, together today for these two days and discuss all these important topics because I don't see much, I would say, other domains or topics that uh, have such an impact on our daily lives, right? We yeah. are all citizens somewhere. Exactly. And uh, all these technologies that we discussed today, how this uh, way of improving our lives is actually directly, can directly positively impact us in our, in our daily lives. Yeah. Um, Sir Ali Bin Fatoum, thank you so much. Thank you for watching our episode with Ali Bin Fatoum the principal project manager in Amazon Web Services. See you in the next episode.